All right. Uh, let's move on. Let's see. Let's talk about uh, some Big 12 uh, topics here. Is this finally the year that Texas wins the Big 12? Do you know why I'm pausing right now? Because I feel like we're breaking the rules. The rules have been we're not talking about Texas unless they do something. That's the rules. I don't know what to tell you. And we're breaking the rules because the question is about Texas. Why is the question about Texas? They got the best roster in the Big 12. The question is about Texas because they're the best team in the Big 12. Stop me if you've heard that before in the last decade. I'm starting to get fed up with Texas before the season. And I like Sark. I like Quinn Ewers. I like this team. Ten starters back on offense. Should be dynamic in that respect. They were a pretty good defense last year. They just didn't win tight ball games. If they can fix that, which they should, through experience, making those plays when they need to, they'll land in the Big 12 championship game. Best rosters usually win championship games. They should win the Big 12 championship. They should. Their roster suggests that they're the best team in the conference and that they should compete for a playoff spot. But guess what? They're still Texas. They're still Texas. I don't... And by the way, I've been a bit of a cheerleader for Texas. And that's why I'm so upset even before they play a game like perpetually underachieving this team and this is a team that will go through a schedule which they should be able to manage obviously the most difficult one being at Tuscaloosa the problem is is that there are enough teams in the big 12 that are just like tough tough outs Kansas State comes to mind Texas Tech comes to mind TCU comes to mind. You've got the rivalry against Oklahoma. They're the next most talented team. Like those, those are, those are not easy games. And Texas has perpetually played down to its level of competition. I do think it's maybe the most unpredictable conference because Texas continues to play down to their competition. You got to win close games in the Big 12. It's what OU and Texas could not do a year ago. It's what TCU could do. TCU was phenomenal in close games. Phenomenal. With Max Duggan, Garrett Riley, Quentin Johnston, Kendry Miller. That's what Sonny Dykes and the Horned Frogs majored in last year, was winning tight football games. That's what Texas failed at. It's what Oklahoma failed at. If that can turn, then we're going to see them bounce back and be very competitive. Um, the defense quietly played really, really well last year. And if that continues, then they should be able to win some of those close games. But again, difficulty because of the balance of the conference. I think the sneakiest, the sneakiest team in the Big 12, Kansas State. Just watch out for Kansas State. I love their O-line. I really like Will Howard. And defensively, they are just kind of like tough as nails. Tough as nails. I like what they do at Kansas State. Thank you for watching the Joel Class Show YouTube channel. And if you like this clip, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. And you can stay up to date on all of my college football coverage.